Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so we're still finding the volume of the rectangles that are here, but then we need to multiply it. Um, it seems to be, let me, let's just go ahead and do it and then I'll show you, okay? So we're gonna do two times three times four, okay? Well, two times three is six, six times four is 24, okay? Now, each one of those boxes holds 500, okay? So we need to multiply what we got by 500. Now, I put 500 on the bottom because I'm gonna take those two zeros and I'm just gonna put them on the end, okay? Instead of multiplying everything by two zeros, we're just gonna take them off, put them on the end. Five times four is 20. Carry the two. Five times two is 10 plus two more is 12. So we have 12,000. Uh, cubic centimeters. Okay, you can write it like that or you can write centimeters cubed. It means the same thing. We're multiplying centimeters by centimeters by centimeters since they're all since there's three sets of centimeters, it's centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Okay. All right. Same thing on this one, guys. Two by one, two, three, four, five. By one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So two times five is 10 times five is 50. Okay. Now, each one of those is 40. So we need to multiply those, okay? Again, I'm gonna take off the two zeros, I'm gonna put them at the end, and then five, four times five is 20. So 2,000, and it's in inches. So I'm gonna put inches cubed, you can put cubic inches if you want to. It doesn't change anything, it's the same answer. Okay, I want you guys to go ahead and do number four. Remember, find the volume of this, then multiply it by 20 and make sure that your label is there, either in cubic inches or in inches cubed, okay? Okay, Theo fills a large box with boxes of staples. The volume of each box of staples is 120. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. There's three, by two by one two three four five okay so three times two is six times sorry you guys can't see that three times two is five sorry three times two is six times five is thirty okay so you're gonna do thirty times 120. okay so i'm going to take those two zeros off i'm going to put them at the end Three times two is six, and three times one is three. So 3,600 centimeters cubed. Okay. Okay. Lisa uses pudding boxes to estimate the volume of the box below. The volume of each pudding box is 150 cubic inches. Estimate the volume of the large box. So two times five times four. So two times five is 10, times four is 40. And each one of those is 150. Okay, take off those two zeros, put them at the end. Four times five is 20, carry the two. Four times one is four plus two is six. 6,000 inches cubed or cubic inches, take your pick. Okay, all right. We're going to go over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Rosa has 16 unit cubes. How many different rectangular prisms can she build with the cubes? Okay. Well, so 16. So she could do 1 times 16. She could do 2 times 8. And 4 by 4 is actually a square. So she can't do that one. So she could do one, two, three, four. Four rectangular prisms. 
right? All right. Each cube represents one cubic inch. What is the volume of the prism? Well, one times four times three. So one times four is still four times three is 12 inches cubed. You can also write cubic inches. Doesn't change anything, same answer guys, okay? All right, a certain aquarium holds 20 gallons of water. How many quarts of water does the aquarium hold? Okay, so we're gonna start with our 20 gallons. And in one gallon, there are four quarts, okay? Cross cancel gallon, so we're in quarts, that's what we want. And then four times 20, well, 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 quarts. Okay, Monique ran a five kilometer race. How many meters did she run? Okay. So right here, I'm going to write King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay. Remember that this is our meters, liters, and sorry, meters, liters, and grams. So going from kilometers to meters, so kilo to meters, we're going to move our decimal one, two, three times to the right. So five. And we're going to move our decimal one, two, three times, which means we're going to put in three zeros, 5,000 meters. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 11.7. Come on back for 11.8. See you soon.